the Air Force has officially unveiled the Loyal Wingman. They've been working on this project now for a long time. The Loyal Wingman, for the first time in, his, in its history, the United States Air Force has designated two prototype drones as unmanned fighter aircraft, marking a new era in aerial warfare. The YFQ-42A and the YFQ-44A, developed by General Dynamics and Anderol, respectively are the harbingers of a new chapter in military strategy, one where human pilots are no longer the sole aces in the skies. Sounds a little skynetish. Sounds a little skynetish indeed. <laughs> but this program has been in the works now for a long, long time. Obviously, our drone capability is is pretty good. Is pretty good. Our in in larger drones, such as AI-driven large combat drones, Reaper drones, Predator drones, Global Hawks, things like that. We clearly got. Uh, We've clearly got a leg up on most of the competition. Maybe not all. But the Loyal Wingman program, this I know the U.S. is doing, Germany is also doing, and I believe the Japanese are also doing this as well. So this is going to become a thing globally. I assure you that we will soon see the Chinese one. I think I've already seen images of it, but I wasn't able to find them quickly here, so... We'll just go through the American one, since that's the one we care about. A cautious approach, however. The Air Force is taking things slowly. The initial batch of 100 to 150 drones will, be the, will have modest capabilities compared to their ultimate ambitions. They will not be supersonic or equipped with advanced radars, and their stealth features may be limited. So what we're talking about, essentially, is the training and proving of this technology over probably the next three to five years. The fleet will grow. It'll be just like you have with uh, the F-35 and the Arleigh Burke destroyers. You'll have uh, YFQ-42 block uh, A, block B, YFQ-44 block B, block C, block D, until their capabilities are probably quite frightening <laughs> to be honest with you because at some point they're going to be supersonic we know they're going to carry missiles and i'm just going to click on here right now but even in these early models could significantly enhance combat effectiveness for instance a drone carrying two long-range aim 120 missiles could provide additional firepower while presenting presenting enemy forces with multiple threats to track and engage these aircraft represent an unrivaled history of capable, uh, dependable, uncrewed platforms that meet the needs of America's warfighters and point the way to new significant era of air power. And I agree. This is an, a significant new era of air power. Because soon, and it says this in a couple of different articles, I'll, I'll bring this up right here. Joining these next-gen jets will be the Loyal Wingmen. Imagine swarms of these highly capable fighter dr drones that fly autonomously or but are still coordinated by the capacity by the mothership. So you'll have swarms of these things. Swarms. They're talking about purchasing a thousand. Let me bring that up here for you to see. Oh, darn it. Here we are. My apologies for that delay. The Air Force plans to field the first increment of these systems before the end of the decade, with prototypes expecting to take their first flights this summer. At least 1,000 drone fighters will be acquired. So that's just the fighter model. You're going to have specific drone bombers. These will also be capable of bombing. So you're going to have swarms of uncrewed autonomous AI bombers that are one fighter are using as a swarm. So you'll have one person in control of large swarms of these aircraft. A lot of times you're not going to have a person involved at all. That's where we're going. You're not going to have people involved in this at all. This is definitely 
Skynetish. Frightening. Cool as hell. Cool as hell. This is one way you can overcome the numbers game that you're going to be facing with adversaries such as China is by building large scale, building on a large scale, autonomous AI fighter craft. And soon, these autonomous fighters, along with the human crewed fighters, are going to be hypersonic, space capable, using directed energy weapons, as well as missiles, as well as bombs. We're talking Star Wars type stuff is coming. And I would expect the AI ones to be at the tip of the spear. At the tip of the spear. It's a little scary. It's a little scary to think about how many AI driven autonomous drone jets are going to be flying in the sky. And this is just just the start. Just the start. We've seen drone and AI driven armored vehicles on the battlefield of Ukraine already from the Russians and the Ukrainians. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking next level tech here. But the fact is, we are now facing Skynet in so many ways where Terminator is going to be our adversary. More so than nation state, they'll carry a flag on them. But it's going to feel so unhuman and so dystopian. Your worst sci-fi movies that you've ever seen where humans end up getting destroyed by machines, well, now those machines are becoming into existence. A lot of them will be controlled by man. These FPV drones that you see on the battlefield of Ukraine, there's a guy on the other end of that. There's a guy on the other end of that. And that's going to happen a lot until it doesn't. And when it doesn't, whoo doggies. But I wanted to bring this to you. I'm actually excited about it. I think it's cool as hell. We should be doing this. We have a numbers game to offset with China. This along with our uh, our new drone ship, USS Defiant, and our drone submarine, DARPA's uncrewed submarine Manta Ray. It's an ever-changing world, guys. It's an ever-changing world. And let's just throw this onto the pile. This is another one we've got. We've got, <laughs> it's a drone warfare world we're about to enter. It's going to be a little scary. They haven't given us the name for them yet, but I'm interested to see what they are. So we've got uh, these, Manta Ray, USX Defiant. It's a Skynet world. We're just starting to live in it, guys. <laughs> If you liked it, hit the like, maybe subscribe, share it with a friend. Let them know the drones are coming. We'll catch you next time.